Honorable Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs, Mr. Ali Mohammed Khan. Uh, distinguished guests, teachers, students, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Anna and I will be the host for this evening. I would like to welcome you to the launching ceremony of Monroe College MBA program at UCI. Universal College Islamabad or UCI was established in 1992 as an independent college entirely devoted to the provision of international tertiary education in Pakistan. The college chose to offer degree courses of the University of London. The degrees awarded are the same as the degrees offered in the UK. We offer University of London, ACCA, HND from Pearson, UK. All these programs are the most reputed of the British education programs the world over. UCI has now entered into agreement with Monroe College, New York, USA. We are proud to be its partner college in MBA in Pakistan. We are here to launch the first ever MBA, American MBA in Pakistan, and inshallah in 2022, BBA of Monroe College. UCI's priority is to obtain the best academic results for each student by providing courses of study suited to a student's aims, needs, and abilities. Studying at UCI is designed to equip the students with long-lasting skills to meet the demands of a rapidly changing world. The unique pattern of courses offered allows students to study in depth and in a broader context. High academic standards are maintained and all students are expected to work hard in a friendly and supportive atmosphere. We will start the ceremony with the recitation of a few verses from the Holy Quran by Mr. Fawadan. By the name of Allah, the most magnificent, the most merciful. Say he is God, the one. God, the absolute. He begets not, nor was he begotten. And there is nothing comparable to him. Jazakallah khair. Our next speaker is Dr. Kathina Yende, principal of Universal College Islamabad. Dr. Yende was born and educated in Chile and the UK. She did her diploma in management from the University of London oh. and her PhD from the University of Wales. She has been the head of UCI since 1992. Dr. Yende has been the pioneer of providing international education in Pakistan. I request, I request Dr. Kathleen Ayende to welcome the guests and explain the scope of the project to the audience. The Honorable Minister of, uh, of State of Parliament for Parliamentary Affairs, Mr. Mohar El Mohamed Khan, Mr. Matt Jerome, President of Mohammed College, Dr. Alex Efren, Senior Vice President of Monroe College, Mrs. Lauren Rosenthal, Marketing Team of Monroe. Uh, Chief of Marketing Team of Monroe. Mr. Sishan Riyad, Regional Head of Monroe College. Mr. Rasim Hashmi, Sayed, Advisor of Monroe College. Uh, uh, Mr. Sayed Siptansha, Director General of NASC. Distinguished guests, teachers, and students, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Dr. Anna, for the introduction. High academic standards, supporting and enabling environment are the format at UCI. We are here for the launching of the Monroe College New York USA MBA program at UCI. On this auspicious evening, I would like to talk about the challenging times of the last two years, the adaptations we have had to make. My high school education until the ninth class was in an American convent school in Chile, Villa Maria Cat, an all-girls school that had educated, that has educated leading women 
uh, from Chile for more than eight years. And his values of empathy, compassion, independence, and high academic standards have stayed with me throughout my life. Values also found in Monroe College, effective leadership, high academic standards, compassion, understanding, and a personal touch. This is UCI, and this is also <laughs> Monroe College. The coronavirus pandemic is a public health emergency of international concern that has triggered a huge burden in the world, especially in developing countries. Even though the fourth wave has started due to the worrying Delta variant, I am confident the Pakistan government will take its stride like it has done previously. When, when we went into lockdown in March 2020, the entire world experienced an instant halt and a deglobalization. Meanwhile, education gathered the courage and resources. Education had to undergo a revolutionary change. In a few months' time, the COVID-19 crisis has brought a sea of change in all sectors of life, including education, even in business. Consumers now have dramatically moved towards online channels, and companies and industries have responded in turn. Majority of the students and educationists expect that technology later changes along with the modification and work in here to stay, especially with the concern of the variant coronaviruses at large. However, we have challenges to overcome. There is a significant gap between those from the privileged and the disadvantaged backgrounds. Some students lack a reliable source of electricity and a reliable internet connection. This gap is seen across the country and between income brackets within countries. Fortunately, at UCI and Monroe College MBA program have designated a resourceful plan which takes advantage of the technology and transnational collaboration with American and Pakistani educators teaching Pakistani students. We are breaking the barrier between the privileged and the underprivileged through this program. We are lucky to have access to the right technology at the right time. The collaboration of a blended online and on-campus learning has shown to be more effective in a number of ways. We just need concerted efforts to provide structure and the use of uh, knowledge in the range of tools that promote inclusion, personalization, and quality in the educational environment. We will attend to all these and make use of all the resources in our pioneer MBA in Monroe College. The MBA program being offered at UCI in collaboration with Monroe College has many salient features that makes it unique. And the following presentation will highlight some of these main points. Can I have the presentation? Okay, so this is a two-year MBA between uh, uh, the King's Graduate College uh, School in Monroe College. Are we sharing the screen? Between this, okay, right. So uh, it's a, we are going to, uh, students are going to learn, experience, and lead. It's a real world, uh, real world uh, learn, it's around the world, UCI, in, started in, uh, in was uh, founded in 1992 and uh, has uh, educated many leading leaders in business and society and in the industry and to achieve the almost unachievable. In Monroe College, we, have, we, find, we find a partner of spirit and a partner in education. UCI Monroe and UCI Monroe will, and UCI with Monroe will allow, will allow you to follow your dreams and achieve the unachievable and to have an MBA from the USA and become a leader in business. One of the salient features, salient features of the MBA are uh, access, affordability, and attainment. These are the uh, mottos of Monroe. Founded in 1933, Monroe has been a leader in higher education, access, affordability, and attainment. Monroe's professors are leaders in their fields, and they, are, uh, they have knowledge from the real world experience. So why are we pursuing the master? To advance in the career, to gain knowledge, to earn authority and responsibility. The Monroe ABA is designed to empower and accomplish all these goals. The answer is, of course, tied to, the, to your success in your career. So, some of the 
very important uh, point, a uh, salient feature of this MBA. It is uh, designed so that you can have one first year in Pakistan and a second year in the USA. Really, a first. So, UCI instructors will, uh, be, will be trained by Mondo faculty and we will be in constant communication with them. We will interact with their uh, platforms and uh, it will be a joint journey with Mondo campus. And we will uh, prepare all other students for the next journey in, in New York. So uh, the master's graduates are going to be fully prepared in the chosen field and they can also work in a variety of uh, related careers. Being able to finish your MBA in the USA is an authentic and real opportunity to live and experience international education. Why Monroe? Well, Monroe is a, a, a very well-known education and institution of the Northeastern University with uh, very important values. And uh, so uh, many students from that part of the world uh, are, and all of the world are, are joining Monroe because of these values of Monroe. The other important thing is that the professors of Monroe have real world experience. They are leaders in their fields and they bring that professional experience into the classroom. That's a very important part of an MBA education. And Monroe is located in the capital of the business of the world. The world, you know, business starts, the day starts in New York and it ends in New York. <laughs> Next day in New York. So it is just a short ride away, the, the New Rochelle campus from New York City. Uh, so uh, where we have the, the so many uh, institutions, so many uh, international, um, uh, international uh, corporations where students of Monroe can have their internships. So uh, having access to that <coughs> sort of uh, uh, possibilities of practical experience is only possible if you are sitting in New York. Living in New York. Um, The New Rochelle campus is a very uh, beautiful campus with uh, state-of-the-art resident halls and uh, athletic complex, and uh, it's uh, uh, a lot of public transport uh, available. And it's just 45 minutes away from Broadway, from Rockefeller Center and Wall Street. Indeed, I'd love to be there. <laughs> okay, now Monroe College is accredited by um, several institutions. Okay, we have several accreditations from Mondo College, which uh, makes uh, this uh, qualification highly, um, highly um, sought after by the people, by the persons from New York State and all over the world. Now, the students of uh, MBA can belong to this Delta Mu Honor Society, and I was reading the CV of Dr. Hashmi, and Mr. Hashmi, and he was also uh, in this Delta Mu Society. <laughs> So I think it's a very uh, distinguished uh, society for the business uh, students. The other uh, interesting program that they have there is the Global Simul Simulation, which is also available for the students uh, of uh, uh, MBA in uh, Mongo. Can I have the next slide, please? It's not changing. So this is uh, the uh, Global Business Strategy Simulation and also available for our Mongol students. Next slide, please. Uh, here I'm, I'm showing you the uh, structure of the program. It's the 36 American credits. <laughs> and in the first semester, we have three courses, um, four courses, but uh, uh, overall nine, nine credits every, every semester. And uh, we have a global, um, uh, critical analysis and graduate research, leadership, global environment, and research and statistics. Then we'll have organizational behavior, managerial economics, and strategic management. And then we move on to the third semester with managerial finance, financial statement analysis, and strategic management. And a, a third, a fourth semester 
of an open electives or MBA concentration. These are 11 areas of uh, 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 concentrations of the MBA. Um, we will teach at UCI, uh, for the students that cannot go to Monroe, we will teach maybe one of them and maybe the MBA general. Uh, if, if it's not possible for, if you're still interested in one of the ones we are not having, the online version of them would be available for that last semester. So uh, or everybody can follow them. And there is one in health and care management and so many uh, very interesting uh, uh, specializations. Now, the next and most important area uh, uh, and salient feature of this MBA is that affordable tuition. Monroe's tuition is very competitive anyway and affordable. But the students of UCI Monroe MBA program, once they go to uh, New York, they get a further discount of $2,500. So really, really, this is a very, it's like a scholarship, it's a generous offer from Monroe to our uh, Pakistani students. So really a wonderful, um, a wonderful, um, um, opportunity for our, our students to afford to go there. Uh, on top of that, the, the, uh, the International Office of uh, Monroe will assist all the students in their visas, in their, in their paperwork and all that. And over there, when you are a holder of an F1 visa in Monroe College, you can, you have several... Uh, so. Yes. So basically, four thousand US dollars for two years, four semester program, three four, and then I guess uh, another four thousand US dollars for local Okay, are we back? We're back. Okay, so affordable tuition is the highlight of uh, a very important part of this uh, program. And uh, the students will have option of working over there and do internships while they are doing their MBA. Because you almost all, even in UCI, our MBA will be an evening program. So over there as well. So students have that opportunity to engage themselves in internships and work while they are uh, doing uh, their MBA and even after their MBA. Uh, the, the, the career services of, uh, of Monroe is really, really uh, very good. And it really matches their students with their, uh, with their goals. So most of the students will be able to find internships and maybe uh, post uh, MBA uh, placements to this career section. And finally, to end this presentation, uh, I like to talk about the uh, entrance requirements. Can you change? My whole family is um, <laughs> Can you change? Yes. Okay. Here we have the uh, uh, requirements. Basically, a, a bachelor's degree or a 16 years of education. Um, if it's a, a BBA, it can go directly without any foundations. But if it's another, uh, degree like law, medicine, we'll, we'll look at them and if there's a foundation required, they can do that. It will be an online foundation program, foundation course, pay a little bit extra and even a lawyer, an engineer, it just depends on what is their background, what foundations they need. These are the in several English tests uh, are available for the proof of English proficiency. We at UCI, we're going to recommend the Duolingo test because it's quite affordable and its results are available in three days. So we are going to run some courses for that Duolingo test. Uh, two letters of recommendation, the resume, and of course we, we will process everything through uh, Monroe, through, uh, through UCI and send the application to Monroe, who will send them the, uh, 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 
the, the, the letter of um, acceptance. Next, please, and finally. So be beginning your adventure in UCI and ending up in Monroe, it's a reality with this MBA. And having a business career that would be uh, around the world, uh, make you around the world uh, a, a business person with achievement and, uh, you know, across a large area huh? between Pakistan and USA. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Yende. Now I welcome uh, Mr. Dishan Riaz, Monroe College Regional Head Academic Partnership and Linkages. Mr. Dishan Riaz was born, raised, and educated in Norway. He is an accomplished trainer and business development manager for counselors, public and private organizations, and businesses. I would like to welcome Mr. Dishan to say a few words. Okay. Ji, Assalamualaikum. And, uh... Good morning to all my colleagues in New York and welcome to um, our honorable guest, Mr. Ali Muhammad Khan, who is apart from being an instrumental part of the government is also a UCI alumni and we are proud to have him here with us supporting us in the steps that we are taking. I also would like to thank all the distinguished guests who are here, my colleagues, my friends, and the most honorable faculty members of UCI that has uh, joined us today. Um, this is a journey that started many, many years ago and which is coming together with two great partners, one in New York and one in Islamabad, the capital city of Pakistan. And UCI being the pioneer in the field of collaborations and foreign collaborations, a journey for them which started 30 years ago has been a very, very productive and produced enormous amount of high quality graduates for the Pakistani job market, as well as the international uh, job market as well. Our ambition has been to be able to provide quality education for on a uh, basis of affordable uh, quality edu education. And in that process, uh, the perfect partner and the perfect location for all Pakistani loves to go to New York and our private institute in New York, uh, Monroe College with their uh, amazing history of more than 87 years and understanding of how uh, collaboration and how uh, long-term uh, uh, relationships can be built with a single step, uh, but all the quality and all the relationships needs to be binded over and over again over many years. And this is a journey that I believe will be for generations. So I would like to in the end thank all the Monroe team, uh, but let me first of all thank the UCI team who has been instrumental in understanding the vision and understanding the potential as well as being understanding the demand for students to uh, achieve higher goals through international education. So thank you very much, uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Ayande, uh, principal of UCI, um, Dr. Essen Akhtar, who has been instrumental and led this project in each and every step and been extremely tolerant and patient and flexible and worked uh, diligently uh, uh, on many, many fronts to uh, conquer and achieve where we are today. So thank you. And I would like to at the same time also start thanking my Monroe team who has from the day one uh, been like a solid rock to put this project together and bring this to parks. And I would like to start with Dr. Uh, Alex Ephraim, who is also the our senior vice president and dean of our graduate school, King's College. I would like to thank uh, our uh, CFO, uh, Bill Bernard. Without his financial uh, gimmickry and visitry, this could not have been possible. And I would like to thank Eric Bland. Uh, without his uh, uh, motivation and ambition, uh, but least, uh, last but not least, our president, Mark Jerome, who without his vision and encouragement, uh, this uh, could only be remain as a dream. So thank you very much. Uh, I would like to really, really uh, congratulate you on this initial step of the launch, uh, launching ceremony. 
And the amazing thing is that within one month, uh, we will be starting our faculty development training. And by end of September, we will be starting our MBA program. So thank you for all your support and graciously uh, uh, flexible in accommodating uh, this program in such a uh, um, short time frame. So thank you and uh, welcome to all the participants. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, 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 as the head of human resources and advisor, advisor to the Ministry of IT and other organizations, he will be speaking about the importance of transnational education. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much.
I'm glad that the stream for Samba has taken the initiative for bilateral MBA program in New York. So it's a bit of situation for both parties as well governments. I convey my good wishes to both the and hope that there will be more bilateral events, especially for undergraduate. Thank you Absolutely. for giving me a opportunity to share my thoughts on process. I mean, my wife will do my wife. She's one of our experts, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, everybody. This is Khatija Khan, and I graduated from UCI back in 2010, if memory serves me right, so been a bit longer than a decade now. After completing my undergrad in accounting and finance from UCI, I went on to pursue my master's in the same discipline um, at the London School of Economics. Since then, I have been working for a French bank, Société Générale, in Paris. Um, I was initially, for the first six to seven years, working as a strategy and management consultant for the bank. And since about two to three years, I, along with a few other colleagues, have launched a startup that is owned by the bank, but co-founded by us. And we essentially raise social finance uh, from impact investors on projects that are led by NGOs and social businesses. Uh, I would like to, um, first of all, congratulate Kathleena and the faculty staff for launching the MBA program in affiliation with the Monroe College. Um, what I would like to share with the students out there who are potentially considering this program is that if there is anybody in Pakistan who I know of, at least, who can successfully run this program, it is Kathleen. And I say this because of her past track record with um, international programs uh, in affiliation with universities that are based abroad. I think she was one of the pioneers um, in Pakistan to have launched the University of London International Program, and she had tremendous success with it. And I hope that um, the same will be the case for the MBA program that she is now uh, launching. Um, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank uh, the faculty of UCI and Kathleen, of course, for having created an environment um, at, at UCI that enabled us to be successful in our, in our respective fields uh, and also to have uh, maintained excellent relationships with uh, the alumni, which is why we are here um, congratulating and supporting Kathleen in her initiative to launch this uh, program and uh, wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, good evening, everyone. My name is Komal Shakil. I am an alumnus from the University College of Islamabad. Currently, I am an economic policy and development consultant. Uh, working with the likes of um, the World Bank, Asian Development Bank, and supporting key ministries of uh, like Ministry of Finance, Planning Commission, and uh, Board of Investment uh, for the government of Pakistan. I graduated in 2011 from uh, the London School of Economics International Programs uh, for BSc Accounting and Finance, and I graduated with a first class honors, and uh, I have Catalina and all the team of teachers at UCI to thank for this achievement and uh, you know gradual achievements also in my career and my professional life. Catalina has always been uh, super helpful in um, job recommendations or applications for uh, PhD and any kind of references that uh, students require or would need for them to grow in their professional life. I must commend that Catalina and uh, the team at UCI are very helpful and I must uh, encourage anyone who is interested in the new MBA program uh, led by the Monroe College uh, in the US that they must apply to UCI and uh, they will not be disappointed because the kind of support and uh, encouragement and the kind of instruction and uh, the kind of um, 
environment that UCI provides to its students is exceptional and it helps them groom their uh, study skills and the discipline that is required to do well in these kind of qualifications. I want to congratulate Catalina and the team for this uh, commendable new achievement and wish them all the luck in uh, this um, program and any future endeavors that Catalina and the team want to undertake. Uh, lots of love and uh, have a great event. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Abdullah Babar. I am a UCI alum. I graduated in 2015 with a bachelor's in business management. Um, currently, I work in Deloitte as a senior auditor. After my undergrad, I moved to the US, did my master's in accounting from Cal State Long Beach and um, landed a job with Deloitte. I've been working with Deloitte for the past two years. Uh, I want to ca congratulate Catalina and the entire UCI team for starting this new MBA program. Um, it's very, it, it appears very exciting. Um, my time at UCI was amazing. I had a great time. I had a lot of support from the faculty, from Catalina herself, uh, from the smallest to the biggest matters, from admission all the way till my graduation. Um, my time at UCI was, was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. I miss those times too. A uh, good three, four years spent there. Um, the team at UCI is is a good team. They're they're amazing. You ask for the help, you'll get the help. Um, in all my time at UCI, I never felt like I like I'm alone in terms of like any questions that I had. Because obviously, I mean, you're here and it's an international program. Uh, a lot of questions can arise, uh, but I feel the in my time, I felt like the faculty, the team, everyone had the knowledge uh, to answer all your questions. You had all the support. Uh, once again, I congratulate Catalina for this new endeavor that she has started, and I wish the best of luck to her and to all the people who are going to join it. Hello, everyone. My name is Hatim Khan. I currently work with PepsiCo in Islamabad as the Director for Public Policy and Government Affairs, which is a really interesting um, area of work that deals with the intersection of government and business. Prior to PepsiCo, I've had the privilege of working in numerous uh, sectors. Um, some of these in include energy, telecom, development, transportation, and healthcare. I would like to uh, congratulate UCI and, and Catalina in, in particular for forming this new partnership for an MBA with the Monroe College, New York. Uh, I'm not at all surprised um, that Monroe College has picked UCI for this partnership. Um, forming international partnership has really been a forte of UCI and they've since many years been successfully running international programs in partnership with the University of London and with, with ACCK. I've had the opportunity of studying at UCI uh, a few decades back um, and, and, I, and um, I have to say that it has been one of the most memorable experiences and that has led into a very successful uh, career for me. Um, I joined UCI from the Pakistan metric uh, system so as you can uh, imagine moving from a metric system to the University of London bachelor's degree program was extremely uh, challenging for me. Now, in fact, I recall I scored poor grades in my first year, but for, uh, but after that, year on year, I had dramatic improvement um, in my grades, and I successfully completed a bachelor's degree from the University of London. I was accepted uh, into a master's program at the London School of Economics and Political Science in London, uh, which I successfully completed with great grades. Um, and I can't forget uh, behind uh, you what, what was behind all of this, which is the amazing counseling I had from the UCI team, uh, especially Catalina, the, the, the great teachers. Uh, we had the support system that, that the organization offered. Um, I recall that I, I 
took some courses which were brand new and you know there was no reading material available Catalina was kind enough to get all the recommended books for me so I could I could do a good job so UCI was really like a family uh, that helps you uh, nurture and grow this MBA program with Monroe College sounds like a good deal where students would have the opportunity of spending the second year in New York. So once again, congratulations to UCI and best of luck to all the students pursuing this degree. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Ara Kesar and uh, I graduated with a first class honors in BSc Economics uh, from UCI in 2016. Uh, after that, I went on to do my MPhil in Development Studies from the University of Cambridge and I'm currently working as a Development Practitioner uh, at UNDP Pakistan. Um, I'm also uh, an alumni ambassador for the University of London. Um, so my time at UCI was uh, incredible and um, all of my achievements I really owe them to the entire team over there, especially Ma'am Kathleena and the faculty who were really, really supportive in, you know, everything that, uh, any kind of support that I needed over there. Um, and I also uh, received the Year One Achievement Award given to the top five EMFSS uh, students in South Asia. And that that was something that I really owed to, my, uh, to the faculty over there. Uh, they were always there to answer any kind of question that you have. And... College USA. Um, I think this is a great opportunity for people who are looking to earn a foreign degree. foreign master's degree. Uh, I manage the Education USA Advising Department at the United States Educational Foundation in Pakistan, or USCFP. At USCFP, our mission is to promote mutual understanding between the people of Pakistan and the people of the United States through educational and cultural exchange. University partnerships are one way to further this mission as they open the door for more Pakistanis to benefit from a U.S. college or university degree. With thousands of academic programs, world-class institutions, and unmatched flexibility, the United States offers a wealth of opportunities that you won't find anywhere else in the world. We'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate Universal College Islamabad and Monroe College on your new university partnership. We wish you the best in this new endeavor. And remember, Education USA is your official source on U.S. higher education. Reach out to us anytime if you'd like more information on the wealth of options available to you in the United States. Thank you. We have another video message from the founder of UCI, Dr. Alan Good afternoon, my name is Alan Bicker. When I started UCI back in 1992, I could not have envisaged the tremendous progress the college has made. This has been entirely due to the unfaltering leadership of Dr Allende and her very able staff. The partnership with Monroe College marks a further and exciting development of UCI's curriculum and shows the high esteem in which UCI is held internationally. It provides great opportunities for all students, but especially for those wishing to develop their business acumen 
and career chances. I commend it to you unreservedly. I've worked here for 27 years, and the college was founded almost 90 years ago by my grandfather and great aunt. It is my pleasure to be here to launch the partnership between Monroe College and UCI. First, I'd like to recognize the principal of UCI, Dr. Catalina Allende, and thank her for her support. Second, I'd like to recognize Dr. Esan Akhtar and thank him. Third, I'd like to recognize our special guest tonight, the Honorable Ali Muhammad Khan. And last, uh, the person without whom this would never have come to bear, Mr. Zishan Riaz. Thank you so much. Monroe College educates close to 9,000 students every year, and we are so proud of this partnership with Pakistan. We are looking forward to welcoming the first students in a few short weeks, and I am even more looking forward to seeing them graduate at Radio City Music Hall in the center of New York City with over 3,000 other graduates and 12,000 guests. Again, it is my pleasure to open this new partnership and look forward to helping students from Pakistan. It is a special pleasure to welcome Dr. Ali Muhammad Khan, Honorable Principal of the Monroe MP Lodge. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Wa qul rabbi zidni ilma. And Allah says in the Holy Book of Quran, that is the holiest of the holiest book for the Muslims, that uh, the message to any Muslim is to seek knowledge. And this is, uh, this is a supplication of dua to the Almighty that, O oh Lord, increase my knowledge. The Holy Prophet Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you look upon his life, anybody who has got an opportunity of visiting the holy city of Kaaba, uh, Mecca, uh, there is this holy grave in which the first revelation came upon the holy soul, the holy prophet, Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It was Ikra, Ikra Bismi Rabbi Khalizi Khalak. Learn, and learn in the name of Allah, Akbar, Apne Rabbi Naam Sif, Dekar Par. Then there is this very famous saying, as the hadith of the prophet, in which when we were uh, children, we didn't realize what does it really basically mean. It was seek knowledge, even if you have to go to China. <clears throat> now in the days of CPAC, probably China is a, though it was our next door neighbor for the last 70 odd years, since we got our independence in Pakistan. But now because of CPAC, it's like, uh, you know, it's like a very brotherly country now, very close to us. But in those times, 1400 years ago, the prophet, holy prophet, the final of the prophets, when he came, in the land of uh, Saudi Arabia, going to China was a Herculean task. The message was seek knowledge, not necessarily China. It was just a symbolic thing. The message was go and seek knowledge. And what sort of a knowledge? The holy knowledge, the knowledge of Islam, of Quran, was there with him. It came upon his own blessed chest, his own blessed soul. So what was there in the rest of the world? May that be China in those times, or even uh, free stream India? Well, it was the worldly knowledge, which we have demarcated with the passage of hundreds of years in engineering and law and medicine and, of course, business administration. 
So the message to the Muslims, though since we are sitting in Pakistan, 98, 99 to 97% of the population is predominantly Muslims. That's why I'm talking about Islam. That the message to the Muslim kids, sons and daughters of soil is to seek knowledge. And what to say of the Holy Prophet, if we talk about the recent times, the person who has aspired me and people like me, millions of people like me in Pakistan, is none other than the founder of the nation, Mr. Muhammad Ali Jinnah. He was a man of pen. He was not a big landlord or a son of a big multi-billionaire or son of some uh, big, uh, you know, what not and what not. He was a man of a very ordinary businessman who sent his son to UK for studies and who got bankrupt in the process, his father, Mr. Punja Jinnah. Qaidi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, he focused on his, on, his, on his knowledge, on his pen. And in his times, he became one of the best constitutional lawyers of the Indian subcontinent had ever produced, to the extent that his greatest foes, uh, with whom he fought his political battles, in their personal lives, they would come to Mr. Jinnah to seek help from, his, from him in the field of law and to give him their briefs, their cases. The message is very clear. If any nation wants to move forward, the message is through the paths of education. And uh, I don't know how many of my learned friends, the president of Monroe College, Mr. J uh, Mark Jerome, who we had the opportunity of listening to you. And of course, Alex Efren, the senior vice president. I don't know if you're listening to me or not, but I respect the American nation for some reasons. Though we had had our problems in our past as well, as a member of a, a federal cabinet, we have to be very careful in our choice of words regarding, uh, uh, regarding the foreign relations. We had had our good and bad times with, the, uh, with our American friends. But one thing which I feel that in which we can uh, do a lot is the field of education. Since we, the Pakistanis, and of course, uh, our next... Uh, uh, neighbor India, we got, we had had our struggle, but the links were very strong with the United Kingdom. And whenever we, the, the youth of Pakistan, would uh, think of going abroad for getting education, the first choice, the first destination would be London and UK. So I feel that in the 70 odd years since our uh, hot and cold relationship with, uh, with our friends in America and Washington, I think we have not done much in the field of education in our students' collaborations. I think this is a great step by my alma mater, my home college, that is University College of Islamabad, Madam Kathleen Alien, and of course, Dr. Hassan Saab, who had been just like a father figure. And uh, we're now sitting here, and we are inaugurating the Monroe College, the first of its kind in the, the great nation of Pakistan. I think it's not only a, a great educational endeavor, I also consider it as a very good and a great initiative of uh, improving our uh, good relations with our friends in America. When now we look back in 1992 when UCI started, we have to realize that when you get the good things of life, we take them for granted. For example, we take for teachers and parents for granted. We only uh, realize their worth once we lose them. So now when we have smartphones and when now when I'm talking, probably Mr. Mark Jerome is uh, listening and even seeing me. But those were the times in 1992 when we didn't have computers. When, when we didn't have Microsoft, we didn't have smartphones, we didn't have so much of TV. There was only one TV station in the whole of Pakistan, that is the Pakistan television. And when we would like to converse with somebody like Mr. Mark Jerome, that would be through a very tedious process of making a long distance call to uh, New York, Islamabad, or writing a letter. In those days, taking this initiative, when quality education was restricted to the uh, very uh, highest corridors of our social strata, and um, the elite class would have had the opportunity of going to UK or very few cases to uh, US for a business education or for law education, something like Harvard School of Law. You would like get uh, a thousand barristers in Islam. 
be doing their hood and because Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah did his barristership, but you will probably not even get more than, uh, you see, 50 um, uh, postgraduates from Harvard School of Law. The reason was that initial tendency towards uh, United Kingdom, though it's not bad, I mean, uh, they had been delivering quality education to the rest of the world, of course, to the British pupils. But yes, the Pakistanis and Indians, they got a lot of advantage from their close collaborations with the United Kingdom. Yes, of course, we had very good and friendly relations with the US as well, but that initial tendency was not there. So that's why I consider it as a very good step because in 1992, um, people like me, though I came late into UCI, but in those times, even in my times when I got admission in UCI, that was 2005, I would, um, I would um, I bluntly admit that it was not possible financially or even emotionally for a person like me to leave Pakistan and study in UK. Mr. Hassan, uh, he knows about the, the obstacles and uh, the issues which I was facing because coming from Khyber Pukhtunkhwa in a place where uh, you don't get in those times, you don't got those opportunities of getting good education, leaving the home and then leaving the country. Uh, despite the there was other reasons too, because of which, I, thanks to uh, United College, uh, University College of Islamabad, I got graduation, uh, graduation from uh, UCI way back in 2010, and I got a degree of LLB honors. Uh, that was a great. Uh, opportunity of me, for me, it was a key to success for many things, though um, because of politics, I could not pursue the legal career for the last few uh, years of my life, but uh, that grooming which I got in UCI, that gave me the opportunity of doing my law practice in my home province, Khyber Pukhtunkhwa at the district level, then at the high court level, then some of the cases as an associate at the Supreme Court level, but when I got opportunity in politics, so that was probably even a bigger uh, forum to do good to your people and serve your country. A point which I want to establish is that in 1992, it was literally impossible for a person belonging to middle class or low middle class to go and get education from uh, UK, from London or from, uh, from abroad. So she gave uh, this opportunity to the kids of Pakistan in 1992, and then continuing with this endeavor for not 10 years, 20 years, Next year, inshallah, there will be a, 30 years will be completed for UCI, which is not even, I mean, a meaner achievement in its own world to succeed and to sustain. Because starting something is easy, but sustaining it is very difficult. So thanks to you that our kids got opportunity and then we had stars like Hyder Khan who topped the whole university uh, of London in uh, probably 1998, uh, Dr. Isansar told me 98 or 97. So, by starting this uh, University of London program of uh, giving the opportunity to the young kids belonging to middle and low middle class of Pakistan to get quality law education and business education and accounting, business and finance, uh, I think that opened the doors for the kids to uh, they encourage them to come forward and get education. Now, this is what I strongly believe. No, you know, nothing personal against the elites or the, the kids who belong to the who are the sons and daughters of the rich, uh, riches of the rich uh, in a society. But the issue is that if you look towards the world leaders, the world beaters, those who have become you know a trademark of success, may that be in the field of business, may that be in the field of politics, may that be in the field of science, technology, or even the film industry. Normally, you will get those people who belong to the middle and lower middle class because they are, you know, by nature, they are trained to work hard. Once you are born in a very rich society, in a very rich family, you do get those good things of life very easily, so the tendency to work hard is not there. Yes, you get those, um, there are a few exceptions, but normally uh, you get people like uh, Abdul Qadir Khan or people like Abdul Sattar Eidi or Abraham Lincoln or people like, uh, you know, uh, Churchill or uh, Franklin Roosevelt or people like Truman, normally they come from the hard, facing the hardships of times, as they say that kites always fly against the wind. So in these times, the young kids, they are thinking about different new avenues. Day Pakistan, when CPEC is uh, 
come up and coming and it is the future. It's a big game changer, not only for Pakistan, but for the whole South Asia. That includes Afghanistan, that includes Central Asia, that includes Iran, of course, China. So with billions and trillions at the offer in the field of business and the field of um, uh, business administration and technology, industries, business entrepreneurs. So this is the apt time, the right time to focus on good quality of business education. Yes, there are good colleges in Pakistan. I would not uh, like to name one so that the others don't get offended. But uh, I am being told that this is the first degree in the whole of Pakistan of any quality uh, American business uh, education institute. Now, this is strange for me because it should have been done a decade or so ago. But uh, it's a, they say that it's never too late. It's good that we are now getting this opportunity for the middle and low middle class kids of Pakistan because the elites can, they, they can, they can afford. If somebody can afford, I would rather say that they would not, you know, they, they would like to go to U, US and you can study there for two or three or four odd years. But it's very difficult for people who have the ability to perform at the highest level, but they can't afford because of finance problems. This model degree, which UCI is offering, it will get, get the opportunity to the middle and lower middle class kids to study the, one of the best degrees in the world in the US. And then you also get an opportunity to go to US and complete the rest of your education for one year or so. So you get the first year of education in Islamabad, in my home uh, college, and then you go uh, to that uh, ancestral uh, city, ancestral country of, the, of this degree, since it is a very old degree. I'm being told it's a very old college, so that also gives credibility and currency to the degree which Madam Katrina Adyan is trying to bring into Pakistan. They told me that this college started way back in the 1930s, 33 or 1930, so it's quite a lot of time because of many of our forefathers were not born in 1930. So in the end, I would like to pray for you. It's such a great feeling to come to your home college as one of your you know, honorable guests, or as they call chief guest in Pakistan. Though I found this concept very strange, chief guest, you are just a guest of honor. But it's a, one of the greatest of the greatest honors I want to tell the kids of um, uh, Pakistan, the, the sons and daughters of Pakistan, that one must try and you know, uh, do your best. Allah will bestow you with success. Um, I never dreamt that I would end up in the cabinet of Pakistan, which is the highest forum of the country. I cannot take away the credit from UCI. I cannot say that it's all because of me that I did. It was those great teachers of mine uh, who were in UCI and who also, there were some other teachers who encouraged me to go to Islamabad and okay, you'll be away from the family. Uh, the, being the only son of my family, I didn't have brothers and sisters. I had to take care of my ailing father, who's not, not with me anymore, and my ailing mother, who is Alhamdulillah alive and uh, with me now. <clears throat> so in those days, there were some teachers who encouraged me. One of my teachers whom I would like to remember today is Mr. Abdullah Jan Sani, advocate, who is no, with, me, with us anymore, who was a great lawyer and a scholar and intellectual in his own sense, from an ancestral uh, city of Mardan, who once told me that if you want to get laurels, if you want to get jewels, they're not lying on a stray in a park. They are in a deep sea. So you have to take a deep, deep dive to get these jewels. And there is not a better and a bigger jewel than knowledge because knowledge is power, because knowledge is everything. If it had not been, this would not have been the first revelation on the blessing, blessed soul of our prophet, Muhammad So I would like to encourage uh, my uh, brothers and sisters and sons and daughters in Pakistan to take this opportunity and come to UCI. It's a credible place. And uh, I remember Barista Masru, who's not with us uh, in this world anymore. He was my batchmate way back uh, in the early 90s. And I went towards engineering. Before doing law, I did my civil engineering and bachelor's in computers as well. Barista Masru went straight to law. He was, a, he was such a great soul. He taught in UCI. So once I contacted him and told him that I want to switch gears and I also want to study law. So he told me that if you want to study law, why not do it from one of the best education institutes in Pakistan? So he encouraged me to come to UCI. And because of Masru Shah, I came to UCI. He's not with us anymore, but I pray for him. He was a good guy. He was a good friend. He was a good uh, father. He was, he was a good husband, though Allah didn't give him children. Probably Allah has his own ways. We miss him today because 
He was one of the reasons because of whom I joined UCI. I have students to support Canada. I want to say that you are a incredible place. Uh, you will not get much fun here. Like there are not many fun things in UCI. But the main thing for which you want to come and to any college is education. That's what uh, Masroor told me that if you want to go have some fun in Islamabad. Go to this and that college. If you want to study, come to UCI. I told him, "Yeah, my gown ko bandao. I want to study. I'm going to study here." So, sabko, I encourage you to come. And I have a lot of joy today. I have seen some old friends of mine, like Latif, one of our, you know, big brothers. Uh, you know, big brothers um, he used to take care of UCI. And uh, who had a lot of joy that he didn't get hurt. So, don't get hurt. Don't get hurt. And here, Kashif, I have seen a lot of joy that he had a car accident. और काशिफ जो है वो क्या कहते हैं कि वो जो है कि एहसान दानिश कह रहा है कि आप वो क्या कहें यही कैसी कैसी हसरतें दाग फुरकत दे गया है कैसा कैसा आशना तो वक्त उसी वक्त मजा करता है जब वो होता है और अच्छी यादें जो है वो रह जाते हैं यू की बड़ी जबरदस्त यादें हैं हमारे पास और डॉक्टर एहसान का मैं शुक्रिया अदा करता हूँ वो मेरे जैसे बहुत स्टूडेंट्स को इनक्रेज करते थे क्या कोई नहीं ठीक है जी ये टाइम निकल जाएगा देन तो वो बड़े बड़े कम मुलाकातें हुई उनसे यूसीआई के दिनों में जब जब आते थे हमें बड़ा अच्छा वो लगता था तो इन द एंड मैं दोबारा ये कहना चाहूंगा इट्स अ ग्रेट स्टेप बाय यूसीआई हु आर द पायनियर्स ऑफ डिस्टेंस एजुकेशन इन पाकिस्तान इन दोस डेज देयर वर ओनली वन इंस्टीट्यूट दैट वाज इन पाकिस्तान दैट वाज अलान अकबर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी व्हिच गिव दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड देन द सेकंड वन वाज UCI, you give the opportunity to the Pakistani kids to get quality education from UK. That was University of London degrees, and now they are taking another step, 30 years down the road, to give quality business education, which is very much current in the changing circumstances in the times of CPEC. I think this is the time to get this quality education and make use of it, serve your homeland, serve your family, and make us and make Pakistan proud. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Stansa and uh, Madam Katrina. I pray for you and all those students. Who gave their uh, video messages? Who are ex uh, uh, students of UCI or alumni? I pray for you, or uh, sisters and brothers and uh, sisters who are serving across the globe. I heard uh, Khadija Sahiba. Uh, I think probably we had had the same time when I was in UCI. She was studying probably business administration those days, business education. And then um, I miss a few of our colleagues. Uh, who probably I think that they were more worthy than me to come here and address. They were more talented than me. I was not that talented, so I ended up in politics. So I plead with you, Rabbi Shahi Sadri, Sadri Amri, Wahid Al Ukda Thamil Lisani, if I have called you, and uh, of course, Brother Zishan, who is here in Pakistan, who is the area in charge of this whole Monroe uh, uh, system. I want to assure you on behalf of me and behalf of the government of Pakistan, Mr. Narayan, Prime Minister, he himself is a pioneer in the Pakistani education system who brought uh, Bradford degree to Pakistan in his home ancestral town of Miawali. Imran Khan Saab himself is a graduate of Oxford. He is into education. He has basically reformed Pakistani education system. I want to uh, remind uh, Zishan Bhai Aapkobi and uh, your, the principal of Monroe College that in Pakistan, a great revol educational revolution has been brought by Mr. Imran Khan that he has made the basic uh, syllabus the same for the people, for the kids, the pupils who are studying in some elite college, elite school, and the government controlled colleges and schools. So he is focusing on education. And from 2013 to 2018, in our first government of Pakistan, Tariq Insaf and Khaybar Pukhtunkhwa, out of the PSDP, the annual development plan which they give, the maximum funding was given first to education, then to health. And that was the game changer in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, which he's bringing up now uh, in the whole of Pakistan. So on behalf of the government of Pakistan, I want to assure you that we uh, want to invest and we want to support people who are taking these steps in uh, educational fields. May that be business administration, engineering, science, law, and of course, medicine. So you, inshallah, um, get help from us whatever is possible from the government circles, inshallah, whenever you need us, we'll try to help you because you are our representative in the US. You can become another good source of um, you know, improving our relations between Islamabad and Washington, which are improving day by day under the leadership of Imran Khan Saab. The politics apart, the, the, the hearts and polls do come in politics, but the relations between the state, they remain there. And the relations between Pakistan and the United States are those of friends. Uh, since 1947 until 2001. So uh, I again assure you and Madam Catalina that inshallah government 
if in anything possible uh, under the law, we will try to support you from the government behalf, from the on the behalf of the Higher Education Commission, on behalf of the Education Ministry. Thank you so much. Best of luck. Uh, thank you, Honourable Minister, for your very kind words. Uh, now we will proceed for the distribution of Jeel. I would like to invite Dr. Tatsina Ayende and... Can you ask if someone from Monroe would like to say a word or something? Okay. Uh, is there someone who would like to say something on, on behalf of Monroe? I think uh, Alex. Dr. Kardi. Good evening and good morning, everyone. This was really a very uplifting um, experience um, hearing from all of our colleagues at UCI and especially the graduates of UCI, so enthusiastic. I think the faculty and the team at UCI seem to be very, very uh, effective VIPs for their graduates. Um, the gratitude was really, uh, really a wonderful display. So uh, at Monroe, uh, along with Dr. Ephraim, Dr. Harris, uh, Dean Carol Janice, uh, our CFO and President Mark Jerome, and we have one of our other professors, Dr. Butena, um, all here to celebrate the launch. And many of us have been in many meetings watching this concept evolve and to see it come to fruition um, at this step is just very gratifying. We are tremendously grateful to everyone on the team who helped to um, bring this forward. And we are very excited both to interact with you during the first year, to welcome the faculty to our faculty ranks, to be colleagues together. And then most importantly for us, to welcome the students to New York, to our Monroe campuses. Um, our campuses are just ready ready for some uh, energy and action and learning. And um, I think that this is a wonderful, wonderful um, opportunity for us. So thank you so much uh, to everyone who brought this to fruition. Oh, and I should mention Dr. Roberta Harris, who in addition to being affiliated with our King Graduate School is also leading our School of Business and Accounting and will be a very, very key figure as, these, uh, as this project unfolds. Thank you again. That's it. Okay, I'm over. Now we will proceed for the distribution of shield. I would like to invite uh, Mr. Ali Mohammed Khan for the distribution. Come up on stage, and Dr. Katrina. Uh, the first shield is for Mr. Basim Hashmi Sayed, advisor to Monroe College. I got it. Uh, the next sheet is for Mr. Zishan Riyaz, Regional Head of Monroe College. Um, I 
would like to call uh, Mr. Dishan Riaz to receive uh, these shields on behalf of Monroe okay. College. The next shield is for Senior Vice President of Monroe College, uh, Dr. Alex Efron. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And then the next one is for the president of Monroe College, Mr. Mark Jerome. So, Mark, you would like to invite me to Pakistan and uh, on a future visit and be my guest in the uh, Parliament House, the CEO of Parliamentary Proceedings, and uh, inshallah, you will enjoy your stay here. We would like to invite you to Pakistan, uh, and inshallah, uh, I hope you will have a good stay here. Thank you so much. I, I know President Jerome is eager to uh, to make that happen. So thank you on his behalf. And most, most importantly, yes. <laughs> I would request all the teachers who are going to teach in the first semester to come up on stage for a picture. Okay, thank you very much for your endurance and being with us in such a short, short notice. I would like to thank um, everyone for hosting this event. Uh, Mr. Mohammad Azim Khan, the chairman of ERC, and Sayyid Saptan Shah, uh, then, uh, uh, Director General NARC, for supporting us. Uh, that I think if there's anyone else missing in this photo, we're going to have a group photo with the chief guest. And then afterwards, I would invite everyone for dinner. I just want to say, um, I just want to say thank you to my Monroe College team. Uh, this is the end of the proceedings uh, thus far. Uh, we will be going now for uh, our dinner invitation. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Ephraim. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Carol, Bill. Uh, Dr. Harris and everyone who has uh, joined us online. Thank you very much for all your support and have a lovely day. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Hi, right, everyone. Thank you. Have a good dinner. <laughs> Thank you. We'll join you for dinner. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm going to